Hey Shubi Doodles, how are you doing? I've been trying to draw this plane all day. I'm not having a lot of luck. I'm going to have another go now. Look, I've been doing all these sketches and different things. Sketches. You may remember last week I showed you all these uh, different shapes that uh, go to make up a plane. And if you kind of want to know about that, go and click up here and see that video. But today I'm going to try and draw this Beechcroft stagger wing, which is really difficult because the top wing here is kind of behind the front wing, so which is really quite unusual. And I've got this angle here all wrong. I haven't made that wing long enough there. So let's see if I can get it right this time. Now what I've done is I've cut out a shape here just to give you an idea what I'm trying to do. So this is the profile, the side view of the plane. And I'm going to try and draw it from an angle like that. <laughs> OK, so what we're going to do is draw a line which is kind of going right through the body of the plane. And I'm imagining that it's kind of this is going to be the verticals like that. So we'll have a vertical there and let's start off. Uh, I'm going to assume that the wings are going to be coming through at kind of that angle like that. So the very, very front is going to be the engine cowl, which is basically a circle. And I'm going to draw that there as a circle with this point right in the middle. But it's not a circle, it's an ellipse because we've slightly twisted it to one side. And then I'm going to do this, another ellipse, but to one side. This will kind of give us the dome on the front of, of the cowling, which can then now go back parallel to these lines here. And then we can sort of do, do the cowling like that. So this is going to be the top line there. I've printed out various kind of pictures and you can see here that the cowling comes along and it's a really quite a shallow angle. This is a more modern version where the cowling goes straight up to the canopy really. And then it's quite a shallow angle um, for the window. So I'm going to imagine this is coming back there and then a little bit more up there. And I can see that the body is coming around. So this is kind of where I'm looking at it, kind of like this at an angle. And then I know that this actually comes up. I've been looking at the drawing. You can see kind of this is the line there. And that this sort of curve of the tail will sort of come up and meet that central line about there. This is quite a big oh I'm going to take that even flatter I think this is the window it's a great big cockpit and then that's going to curve back in fact down slightly curving down to there and I think we can make this come back a little bit more to about there which means here we can have we can imagine this is a circle and this will be the cockpit coming up here. This is the cockpit glass that are coming around there, coming down, and there's a little strut there. And then we also have the door window there. At least I think it's the door window. It's all quite hard to tell what's going on. And then we can imagine that sort of curling around a bit there. So again, this will be curved. I think what I find really hard in drawing this is, is this bit here just seems so long and just doesn't quite seem right somehow. Um, and then we'll have the uh, propeller cone on there. And kind of propeller going around like that. And that will be an ellipse in there as well. Now the front wing is coming pretty much directly out from here. and. If we kind of drop around there, this is going to be kind of the central line. So whatever distance we have here, we want to have something equal on the other side. And this might, I might need to move this actually. And then it's sort of coming around. If we bring that around, it's sort of coming out parallel, very much parallel here. Um, and that will come out there from kind of halfway underneath the door. But we have a, a bit of a curve there and we have quite a curve there. And I'm kind of thinking of this as being three sections, maybe a bit more like that. 
that so this is going to come kind of to a little point there and then a longer curving around on the back so we've got a curve here but a longer curve on the back and from there I'm thinking that's one one three I think it's gonna be finishing about there so a little bit of a curve there but a longer curve on the back and that is feeling quite good for me <laughs> now we have then the top wing will need to be parallel again this these lines need to be parallel and the same kind of distance like so it's going to be about there so like something like that and if we just sort of draw that line out like that and then this needs to stagger backwards okay so then this will kind of curve around there that will curve around to that point and then we have that slightly longer curve on the back to that point that is not looking too bad and then uh, I think that might be just a bit too wide I've got that there so we're going to want this kind of aerofoil cross section these are going to be this kind of curves they're, they're quite slim wings they're not great thick um, things so now that then needs a line there so this is quite thick where it's joining the plane but it does kind of um, curve down and I really don't <laughs> this is so difficult to get that I don't know how to do that quite I'll just see if it sort of happens and uh, right, so now here we have the tail plane as I would call it you would probably call it something different if you're an aeroplane person I'd tell thin um, I'm not a I'm not an aircraft expert so so forgive me on those things so what I'm doing now imagine that's going all the way through and they need to be pretty equal like that from each side and then this could have comes out at an angle that way like that will come at an angle that way behind the thing and yeah that's that's not looking too bad actually so let's have it coming into land a little bit there and this kind of v-shaped thing going on and then that kind of curve which is covering up the wheel which will be sticking out underneath there and we're probably just going to see a little bit of the other one there like that so what we're going to need now is parallel with that line we're going to need a rod coming down about there and there and then that kind of comes uh it has sort of straight it's because it's got to kind of follow the the curve of the aerofoil cross section let's have a go at inking this in there's something about this front this engine cowling that just doesn't I feel right to me and, and every time I've drawn it it's not feel felt right at all but uh, we'll just have to see now my instinct is just to kind of whiz around and sort of <laughs> quickly draw those bits in but as you can see there I didn't get a very good uh, sort of ellipse on that so I'm taking my time a bit more on that I think that's probably going to get around there a bit more so I'm going to bring that back to there and bring that back to there and then that is going to be the engine cowling and then I'm going to draw that bit on the front and I'm going to do kind of something going on in there <laughs> some kind of engine thing going on um, I'm not an engine expert as well it's just an engine thing and then that will want to come up to there so I'm going to bring this around just kind of stop it there and then bring that around and just kind of stop it there 
so that we can then have the cockpit here. Now this is a huge cockpit. The um, the stagger wing was actually designed in kind of 1932 during the depression and it was kind of designed like uh, kind of a business aircraft which is why it has this enormous cabin so it's kind of for carrying you know executives around in so nowadays you'd have a Learjet rather than one of these and um, it's been it was very successful and was used by the army for transporting people around probably I should think and spotting and stuff like that in fact I'm doing this because um, one of my Patreon patrons asked me to uh, Ed Crone who's, who was himself an USAF navigator so and has very likely kind of flown in one of these probably, which is probably why he kind of likes them he said he'd been somewhere and seen one restored I asked if I could show how to draw them because he wants to be drawing more aircraft and that's looking a little bit I, I can straighten that up in Photoshop for the thumbnail I probably do lots of tidging up in Photoshop for the thumbnail on the video and then we want to bring that down there but it's very unusual with having this wing on the top and behind the one underneath you know usually they're forward but it was specifically to give the pilot more vision so I think I'm just going to put these little marks in which wouldn't really be that evident on the plane doesn't seem to be that evident on pictures that I've looked at but this will just help with the drawing to give a bit of kind of curvature to the to the aerofoil cross section and then I think I might just do some clouds here as you may have seen me do this um, showing you how Albrecht Dürer would have done them in sort of 1493 or something like that so what was good then is still good now now when you are sure that the ink is dry then you can erase all those pencil lines as long as you didn't press too hard in the first place <laughs> in case you're wondering I'm using an HB pencil I'm not pressing very hard I didn't finish that bit there did I? and we could also put a little bit of kind of curve in there maybe a bit of a feeling of kind of thickness and curve on there as well so I'm mixing up a bit of kind of vermilion -y red and touch of yellow and I'm going to paint a line across the front of the wing like that and then the rest of the wing I'm going to paint but I'm going to leave this little kind of thin line of whiteness of the paper uh, to be kind of re light reflected on the uh, leading edge of the wing and uh, it would probably have been best if I'd been using <laughs> watercolour paper but I'm not <laughs> this is uh, sea white uh, cartridge paper which I'm using 140 gram <laughs> which I use for generally use for when I'm drawing just drawing drawing videos and drawing stuff and then what I'm gonna do is leave a little bit of white there and a little bit oop, along there as well as kind of reflection there too and then again I'm going to do this line across the front on the leading edge and then I'll go back there and then we're going to leave this little line of white on the leading edge but you know if you, <laughs> if you find that too difficult you can always come in afterwards and paint paint in white on the top I don't think it's cheating but I think there's something um, oh, I, don't, I don't know it's just you never quite get this that kind of cleanness of white that in, if you do it with um, white paint on top it, you can sometimes always you know, sort of see oh that's a bit of white paint on top rather than it being sort of this is more integral with the 
picture, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And across this strut as well. I'm going to leave a little bit across the front if I can. Not all the way, so around about there, I think, something like that. And then we've got the wheel cover there. And then the engine cowling, we'll give that a, a sort of a, a different colour. That kind of purpley colour there. And that will come and then darker there. And I think we can make this wing quite a bit darker like underneath. And maybe a bit there. And I think also darker or more intense anyway at the back. And then I'll bring it, I'll clean the brush, and then I'll sort of pull that colour forward, but it's thinning all the time as I come to that kind of white line part. I think I can do the same here. And then I'll clean the brush, and then I'm going to let it flood into that space. And that's helping to give that kind of curve to the wing, I hope. And I'm going to do a similar thing here, right down the front leading edge of the tail. Thin. I went a bit over there, and then similar there as well. Of course, you know, you have hours and hours and hours of time to spend on this. <laughs> as I'm sort of just showing, so you can get it right. <laughs> where I got it bits wrong and you're probably going where's he what about the door handle of that and the left-handed gizmo thing and the little wire struts that should be going in there oh yeah of course I forgot them <laughs> and uh, I'll try and remember the wire struts because you want to know how to do them and then we're gonna go like that and then I'm gonna want to put something really quite dark around in the engine cowl and I think we can start on here and just putting a bit of kind of reflection in there but you won't see much reflection in the window that's underneath here and so there we go yeah that looks okay and we're going to want to have grey tyres, black tyres we can have a nice silver nose cap well it's not silver, that's blue what am I talking about <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that's a bit more silver I suppose and then I think we're going to have some shading going on here so that will be pretty much like that and maybe shading over onto there Certainly has some shading under there, I should think. And the struts will be shaded underneath there. I have a little bit of shading in there. Certainly a bit of shading around there. We're going to need some shadow in underneath there. And there we go, I went all a bit silent there. This is a very difficult plane to draw because it is such a strange looking thing anyway. It's the, I wanted to get this angle from above. Um, to kind of show the stagger on the wings but it is really really difficult so have a go and good luck thanks for watching and you can support this channel and get so much more on my patreon page click to find out more make sure you are subscribed to the shoe render drawing channel on youtube and in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye